welcome back viewers so far in the play design section we have generated this 2d profile we have checked if it is closed or not it was closed so now let's begin again and uh, for giving it a 3d profile we will have to click on the exit workbench now from here we will need to shaft it okay it looks okay now about the angles you can put 360 degree in any of these or you can put 180 degree in each both will work okay we don't need any thickness uh, selection is sketch one it will be based upon which line we select take a preview looks okay and click okay let's zoom out a bit rotate it okay it do looks like uh, pulley now time to create the spacer section now as I have told you in the previous video that we will need to know what is the function of that thing so for that I have uh, made a video here please go through it okay let's see this portion it has got some height and uh, this section here this is called a spacer on the water pump so what is actually it does we will come to know about this let me fix it properly at first okay this is fixed now now let me try to rotate it I do have uh, a camera in one of my hands so it is some kind of complicated situation for me but let's try to rotate it anyway here while I am trying to rotate it it is rotating easily but what happens if the spacer was not there or the extrude portion was not there and it may touch the outermost portion you can see let me open it and now let's see there are some kind of ribs here which will not allow me to rotate it properly if the spacer was not here that's all so okay the first function as per video was uh, to provide some space so that uh, the rotating part and uh, this pulley doesn't scratch from inside now the another thing what i uh, suppose for this part is it that uh, this has got multiple holes you can see here so it's some kind of weakens this strength so what happens is it that while we give some additional thickness here is it that it increases the strength so that it doesn't get cracked up here so these were two function of it so let's continue so to design the triangular section i will insert another body and why i will insert it because i will need boolean operation here click on sketch okay now i will create the triangular section inside of it but I do not need to go here to confirm it I will take a projection of this circle here then I will create a concentric circle with it dia dia I want it to be around uh, 65 mm ok it looks ok now time to create the triangle I will need to make a uh, equilateral triangle here so that is easy for me because I know that uh, the inside angle it should be 60 degree each let's change it to 60 okay click on constraint click on first line click on another line change it to 60 now the third angle it will be automatically 60 because we know that uh, it for the uh, total sum of the inside angle of triangle it should be 180 degrees so we don't need to put that let's delete it also delete it now time to give it 3d profile exit workbench and give it pad let's rotate it to know how much we need to put it so first of all we will need to reverse the direction of extrude now the second i think it could be around 10 mm let's say okay it looks okay to me click on okay so now we have created this 3d and uh, one more thing what is remaining i have missed here is it to smooth out the edges here round 2 mm will be okay 2 mm will be okay even this side i can need only 2 mm so exit work 
workbench and it will automatically do everything okay now time to create the holes here click on sketch create a circle and I will need to make a tangency constraint here because I do not want any imperfect circle here the holes they should be perfect again tangency now it is okay if this circle is tangent at both places it will be also tangent here no need to look up and uh, now time to create the screw holes Eight mm will be fine now time to rotate this click on rotate I need two duplicates it's okay now what I, I want to rotate first click there then the center point of rotation then the axis from where we will measure the angle of rotation okay this way now the angle between these three should be around uh, 360 divided by 3 120 degree so here it goes now delete this before it I will need to draw one more circle here which is the center circle 12 or 14 okay now I can delete this circle now I can create the hole here okay let's do click on ok so it has made it but I will need to increase the length of the pad let's say 100 mm take preview okay now this has not made a hole in this pulley because uh, we have not added them together so do this before making this hole we will have to add the both of the material click on add okay body to part body okay now it looks okay now again if you will try this pockets let's delete this previous one go back there this time it will work it will make hole there but we were not able to see last time so I will prefer to do it fastly this time without wasting much time I'm gonna repeat the same procedure make them tangent and then create three circles in the dia of this circle it was around 8 mm now I will rotate this and I will insert the value of rotation it should be 120 degree then I will create the another circle of dia 14 perfect I will use this circle now try creating the pocket okay now this time it went okay okay this is how to design a pulley I think I have designed everything in this section the groups the front part the rear part and uh, you can take different type of views from here and you can rotate individual of them separately okay I think this is all in this designing process I hope that you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching